I'm Valerie Bertinelli. You may know me from Valerie's Home Cooking or Kids Baking Championship. But today, you are here because we're gonna make miso glaze salmon sheet pan dinner. I love a good sheet pan dinner because you cook everything on one sheet pan and easy cleanup. But the key to a really great sheet pan dinner is the glaze because I want to add a lot of flavor. And today we're going to add a lot of flavor to this beautiful, mild salmon. And with the salmon, we're going to roast some radishes. Yes, we're going to roast some radishes. You'll see, it's going to be great. And while everything's roasting, we're going to make a quick, simple salad. If you're cooking along with me, what you're going to want to do first is get your broiler going. So go to your oven, get that broiler up to high so it's ready to go when the salmon goes in. OK, you want to get a sheet pan? Get some foil on that sheet pan and then brush it with some veggie oil. You want just a, a flavorless oil on your sheet pan. So you've got those together, right? Let's get started on the glaze. This glaze is really fun because we're going to use miso in a whole different way. Usually miso is used in soups. I keep it in my fridge all the time so I can just put a little bit in some hot water and I have miso soup. Voila, just like that. But for this glaze, we're gonna mix some miso and some sesame oil and a really fun ingredient, sake. So let's get about three tablespoons of miso into a pan. You wanna get that pan heated up to low because you really don't wanna cook this. You just want all the flavors to blend together. And miso paste is just what it sounds like. It looks like peanut butter but it's, it's like paste. So I'm just grabbing three tablespoons. Miso is made from soybeans. It's like a, it's a really beautiful soybean paste that's made from fermented soybeans. So we got that in, adds a lot of flavor, deep umami flavor. So next ingredient, sake. We're gonna get a third of a cup in. Sake has that slightly sweet flavor that complements the saltiness from the miso. I'm going to blend the sake and the miso together. Mmm. I mean, if you've ever been to a Japanese restaurant and you get a bottle of hot sake, that's what it smells like right now. It smells really, really good. All right, a little bit of sugar. I want to sweeten it up just a little bit. So let's get a tablespoon in there. Two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. And the reason there's not that much is because sesame oil has a very intense nutty flavor. You don't need a lot of it. It goes a long way. So let's get this whisked up and get all the miso melted into it. Oh my God, the smell in here. Woo! There is something about Asian cuisine that I absolutely love. I was lucky enough to learn a lot about Asian cuisine when I was married to Ed. His mother, Mrs. Van Halen, just made the most amazing food. She's from Indonesia, and she brought over those dishes here, and I was lucky enough to learn them from her. So I love Asian flavors. So this is a really intense glaze, and we want all of that flavor because the fish, salmon, is on the mild side, so it can take a lot of flavor. So we're gonna let that just simmer barely not really simmer, just kind of like heat up and mix together. While that happens, let's get our radishes together. So all these beautiful radishes, and what we wanna do is quarter them up. So we wanna get the tops and the bottoms off. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever roasted radishes before. If you haven't, you're gonna love this recipe. You know how radishes can kind of be on the spicy side? They get a little um, peppery. Like, and some of them can be pretty spicy. Well, when you roast radishes, they soften up, they sweeten up, and a lot of that pepperiness stays in there, but it's super mild. It's really a lovely flavor. Mm. So the sake is starting to mellow out. You can smell it. The miso is taking over a little bit. You can really smell the toasted sesame oil because it's so fragrant, so nutty. Let me go take a look at that. I'm gonna give it another whisk and then turn it off. Yeah, it's thickened up just beautifully. That's what you want. See how that's thickened up? It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna take it off the heat, let it sit there and cool down while we finish up the radishes. So now we just wanna get these guys into quarters. These little guys, you can just have them up. This is what I love about sheet pan dinners, is 
you can come home from a long day at work and get dinner on the table within 20 minutes. If you've done all this prep work on a Sunday and you got everything already chopped up in your fridge, you can get this done within 15 minutes. It's a quick, quick dinner. Okay, sheet pan already has a non-flavored oil on it. We're not using any olive oil this time. That's very odd for me. But we're gonna get all these guys on the pan. I'm kinda gonna gather them together for a minute. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil on here. We're gonna add a little bit of neutral oil. We don't want this to add any flavor. We just wanna help it roast up and get nice and brown. All right, let me get some salt on there. There we go. And then spread the radishes around so they get all around the edges because what you're gonna do is then lay the salmon pieces right in the middle. And then these guys on the edges are gonna get nice and brown. And the key to all of this is making sure everything roasts or broils at the same time. This all together works in four to six minutes. That's it. Okay, let's get the salmon coated with this glaze. Oh, that's a nice thick glaze. So you just take each piece of salmon, get it in the glaze, turn it around, and get it right in the middle of the pan, leaving room for the other three pieces. And if you'll notice, there is no skin on this salmon. That's the way I happen to like it. And for this particular dish, you really don't want the skin on because the skin adds a real, real fishy flavor. And I want this to be all about the miso and the salmon. As you can see, the difference between a glaze and an actual sauce is the glaze can be a bit thicker. So this beautiful thick glaze that you see, I wanna make sure it all gets on the salmon. And a sauce would definitely run everywhere. So I like the thickness of this because all that flavor is gonna stay right on the salmon. Beautiful, just enough. You'd think I'd meant to do that. Now remember, there's sugar in here. So what happens with sugar and heat is it gets all caramelized. This is going to be so unctuous. I cannot wait to try it. And I only have to wait six minutes, but while those six minutes go by, we're gonna make a salad. All right, we got four to six minutes to make a salad. You ready? We got a bowl, we got two limes, and some spring greens. Let's make the dressing first. We want some rice vinegar, two big tablespoons. Rice vinegar is a nice, mellow, mild, kind of tangy, but it also has a really beautiful, mellow sweetness to it, too. So you get kind of like the sweetness and the tanginess. It's made with salt and sugar, so that's why you get a little bit of each. Some miso, we want to get some miso in there again. This I just want a nice mellow flavor for our salad. And it's gonna really play nicely with the miso that's already on the salmon. I'm using white miso because it is the least fermented of the soy paste. And you can get red miso, but that's really much better for braising or something that really needs an intense umami flavor. This I just want a nice mellow flavor for our salad. Let's get the miso and the rice vinegar to a nice, creamy consistency. So you just whisk that up. So what's gonna make this a little bit different than the miso glaze that we put on the salmon is we're gonna add some coconut aminos. I love coconut aminos. It, it tastes almost identical to soy sauce, but again, it has a little bit of extra sweetness. It's actually made from the coconut flour and they pull the sap from the coconut flour and they make this wonderful sauce. So that gets put into the dressing. So there's a lot of sweetness going on in here right now between the miso paste and the coconut aminos and the rice vinegar. So let's get some tartness in here. We need some limes. We want two tablespoons. So if you have to, just use one and a half. Yeah, that's a juicy lime. There's one half. Let's get one more in there. This should be all we need. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a little bit more, but it's fine. I like the tanginess. I want some really intense flavor in here, which is, again, I love sesame oil. I love it toasted. 
We have some sesame oil on the glaze, on the salmon, so we're just gonna put a little teaspoon in. It's a big teaspoon, it'll be fine. And now, what does a salad dressing need? It needs a little oil. So we have some oil right here. You're gonna put in here about a quarter cup. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna see how that tastes. Always taste your food. Always, always, always. That's so good. You guys are gonna love that. That's perfect. Let's add a little crunch, shall we? Some black sesame seeds. Go right in. So now that we've made our dressing, all the salad bowl needs now are some greens. But I'm not gonna put the lettuce in yet because I want some cucumbers and some scallions. And this is gonna go on top of our salmon. First, you're gonna take the root off and then just gonna cut these on the diagonal so they're really pretty. I think garnish is so important for food. First of all, you really want your dish to look beautiful because you do eat with your eyes first. I think everybody must tell you that, but it's true. Okay, that's all I really want. So let's put these in here, shall we? And I love scallions because they're a very mild, mellow onion flavor, so they're not gonna overpower the fish either. All right, time for the crunchy component of our salad. I love Persian cucumbers. The skin is super mild, so you don't have to peel them. The seeds are super tiny, so you don't have to take the seeds out. They're like a really great cucumber. So I'm gonna cut these into quarters. I like nice little bite-sized pieces. And then we'll take a few at a time and get them into nice little chunks. Just gonna chop them up. And then, when you chop them up, get them right into the dressing. Now the reason you can put the cucumbers in a little early is because they can take up all of that dressing and they're not gonna get wilty. They're cucumbers, they're gonna stay nice and crunchy. So they go in. There we go, beautiful cucumbers. Oh, the aroma, it's so good. It's, you just smell the miso, you can smell the sesame oil. It's, the aroma is just really beautiful. But to make it into a full salad, and I can see that our salmon is almost done. You got your salad, just get all these beautiful baby greens in there, and then toss them up. And this is just a normal spring mix you can find in your grocery store. You can use anything you like. I just think the color in here is so beautiful. There we go. Okay, let's go get the salmon. Oh, this smells so amazing. How easy is this? We made dinner in 15 minutes. I mean, if that's not making your life a dream, I don't know what is. Let me get some little red in there too. There we go. All right, let's get a slice of salmon. One final touch. Remember those scallions you sliced up earlier? Let's get those right over the salmon. That's beautiful. There, you have it. Dinner in 20 minutes. Beat that. <laughs> that looks so delicious. Let's take a bite, shall we? Ooh, yes, a piece of salmon. Let's do the salmon first. It looks so tender, so buttery. Oh. A little sweet, a little tangy. That is so, like it's, it's just melting on my mouth. I can't wait for you guys to try this. It's so delicious. Mmm. The radish still has some bite to it. A little bit of crunch. It's tender. That is an amazing meal in 20 minutes. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Thanks for cooking with me. Come back and see me anytime. If you love this recipe, you can make it anytime you want. And come back and see me.